to operate the rear compactor what you have to do is you turn the system on using the key the screen's currently showing the uh, rear view camera if you press the button here it takes it to the operation mode the system has to show OK for the compaction to work at the back so now I'll show you how the rear compaction works you have the side buttons for the compaction press once to select which side you're operating press second time makes it go through the cycle to operate the bin lift obviously swing the arms out now you're going to operate it in um, trade mode press that and then when you um, if the, as long as there's no light on here it's in trade mode and then when you press the up button <coughs> both pin lifts go up at the same time and in trade mode it will automatically compact doing the cycle to operate it in split mode press that this side lights up and then you operate individual bin lifts one at a time and again to switch back to trade mode press that the bin lifts automatically level to eject the system or empty the rear compactor press the button again then press F5 uh, sorry F, F5 to bring up the ejection menu then F5 again lifts the hopper Feel the hopper reach the top, it automatically goes through a cycle to empty what rubbish is in the hopper, and then to eject using the ejection plate, press F3, and this slides the ejection plate to the back of the truck, pushing out any rubbish. Once the ejector's fully back and the rubbish is offloaded, you can slide the ejector forward, the ejector plate forward, or you can just close the hopper from the rear of the truck or inside the cab. If you're closing from inside the cab, the hopper will close to within one meter, and then you have to close the hopper all the way down, the rest of the way down, pressing both buttons simultaneously on the back of the side of the hopper. To slide the ejector forward, press F4 and the body ejector plate slides to the back of the cab.
When closing the hopper, press both the buttons. Once the hopper is closed, you need to keep hold of the two buttons for at least five seconds as the hopper slides down and uh, connects into the body locks. operate the front pod you have to make the sure the body system is on and then you can operate the bin lift on the side this is a control for operating the side bin lift if you put it in the holder upside down it stops water getting into the handsets which often um, stop working due to water but if you put it in upside down that can't happen so this button here operates the bin clamps so you press this button it closes the bin clamps and then to send the bin lift up press the top button to send the bin lift up Tip the front pod, press the up arrow to tip the pod. <laughs> 